kiko la isi oko ati ada ko ipe o this is a means of having the source of income we are sure that with agriculture the sky is the limit at least we'll be able to provide for the family tables and be able to earn an income for us to be able to cater for other uh, areas in which we need to spend money. And so I want to congratulate you all. And I want to employ you, I want to say, enjoy you that whatever you have been trained, please listen to read very well and practice it very well. At the end of the training, you will be empowered. The empowerment, please, is not for food. The empowerment is not to get another wife. The empowerment is not to take our girlfriends to the hotel. The empowerment is not for us to make new soup for our husband or for the children. But the empowerment is to empower us to be able to have a livelihood, a long life livelihood. So please put that thing that you have been empowered with into business. Thank you. And with this, I welcome you. Advent of the cotton oil. 
and then you have the crude oil and nothing really is working because uh, we stop being innovative and inventive. But at, at the moment, look at the unemployment rate. We have graduates of many years, they can't find jobs. And so as the government and some of us now believe that the best way we can take this country out of uh, the wood in terms of unemployment and crime rate is to diversify the economy. And the most critical sector we can look at when it comes to diversification of the economy is agriculture. Unfortunately, in Nigeria and Southwest, we have issues such as uh, IR and T that can impact modern knowledge in value addition agricultural activities. And so I decided to, to leverage on that and then to uh, uh, work with them to uh, uh, train some of our people, some of the, my, the people from my constituency, constituency, train them and empower them. Uh, I appreciate a uh, distinguished senator Humadu Kola Balogun for this uh, program that is happening here, I have auntie at Ibadan. So we appreciate him very well. So God will continue to bless him. And we promise him in that immediately that he empower us, we establish on what he training us here. First and foremost, I will first firstly thank Senator Kola Balugu for the uh, opportunity that he's given to everyone of us today. That God Almighty will protect him and his family and all the cabinet that sits and think of these good things for we youths of today. And I, to my own belief, after this program, I think I'm into Pegu before, and I know with the with the amount of the money Kolabalo Boom wanted to give every one of us, I think I will utilize my own very well. Yeah, first of all, I would like to appreciate our uh, senator, the uh, person of uh, Senator Paula Balogu for this uh, gesture, you know. So uh, there's a lot of senators over there, so they have not been doing much for their people. So for him to come down and say, okay, let's see the petrol is not giving us what we expected, now our economy is down, you know. So now I said, okay, let, let's bring something up. I mean, for our youth, for, for empowerment, you know. So, I mean, my expectation after this program is at least if I can learn one or two, maybe how to raise a rabbit or another. So, I think from there I can make it, I can be on myself, I cannot rely on anybody to have table on my, I mean, to have food on my table. So, that's my expectation. Oh, well, I appreciate Senator Kola Baloko for this um, great opportunity given to us to be able to. Um, Lane and also to be empowered for agriculture, and I appreciate the Institute of Agriculture and Research Training for this opportunity. So, God bless you.